Hello, Year 3, and thank you for joining for our next computing lesson, um, where we're going to continue looking at creating our own TV program. Um, so let me get started with our lesson by sharing the screen. As a bit of a recap um, on the learning we've done so far this year, fill in the blank for this one. We created an animation slash output in our last unit. Remember, we were using Scratch. Which word fits better there, an animation or an output in our last unit? How many different job roles are there for creating a sports TV show? So we looked at this last lesson. Remember, we watched a few videos. We saw the credits and um, where it listed all those different job roles. Um, that should give you a clue. Um, see if you can remember maybe one, two, even three or more of those job roles. And an e-safety scenario for you to think about. Should you send photos to people online? So imagine you're um, playing on the PlayStation or on the Xbox or you're on the website and someone asks you for a photo. Should you send it to them? What do you think about that question? Have a think, we'll go through the answers in just a moment. So let's look at the answers to those. The first one, we created an animation was the right answer. So I'll delete output. We created an animation in our last unit using Scratch to do so. How many different job roles are there for creating a sports TV show? A few of them would be camera operator, um, commentator, um, presenter. That's just a few of them. There are lots and lots, lots more, but they might be some that you come up with. And last question for the e-safety, should you send photos to people online? Um, it's not a good idea to do so. So I'm gonna put no, because we don't necessarily know who it is on the other line. They might say they're your friends, they might pretend to be someone else, but unless you know 100% who they are, that's not a good idea. Um, so no, because we don't know where they're going to or who they're going to. Um, so it's best to avoid doing that, to keep ourselves safe online, which we want to do. Moving on, we're gonna focus uh, or continue our focus on being presenters and videoing performance. Um, we're in this unit it's going to find out how a TV program is made. We did that um, last lesson. Today we're going to practice using a video camera um, and then later in the unit we're going to shoot some video files, edit the video files and get some feedback and think about what we'll do differently next time. For our word bank I'm going to skip along to the next page so you can see the definitions too. The audio is something producing a sound. When we record a TV show we obviously need the, the visual what we see but we also need the audio what we hear um because we want to hear what's going on we want to hear the presenters the commentators explaining um, what's happening a close-up is a photograph or film movie taken at closer range editing is when we correct something and we might edit our writing but we might also edit our footage to correct anything that we shouldn't have got in our footage footage is the recording or the film of what is happening Panning is moving a camera to keep something in view, which is going to be very useful for filming sports and physical activity because sports usually move. So the camera has to move back and forth, showing what is happening. Shooting is when we film something. So if you shoot uh, a TV show, that's filming a TV show. A video camera is a device used to film something. A lot of our video cameras will now be on our um, phones or on our iPads, on our tablets those sorts of things. So hopefully you'll have one of those two hands. And zooming, making the image bigger or smaller. Let's quickly check you know that vocabulary before we move on to our lesson today. So we are going to be shooting or zooming our own TV show. When the camera follows the action, this is called editing or panning. And when I have finished filming, I will have some footage or zooming. Have a think, pause the video if you'd like some extra time and we'll go through those in just a moment. So let's have a look at those. We are going to be shooting our own TV show. We are going to be zooming our TV show, wouldn't make sense. It is shooting, we're recording something. When the camera follows the action, this is called panning. That's that process of moving the camera to follow what is happening. And when I have finished filming, I will have some footage. Footage is that recorded material that we'll use to create our TV show. So, our learning intention today is going to be working with uh, video cameras. Um, so we're going to be using video cameras to um, film some or record some footage. 
Now, in our last unit, we did do a recap lesson on taking good photos. And that's going to be really helpful for today because the way that we take good photos, a lot of those same skills are going to apply to making a good recording. So how did we take a good photo in our last lesson? What did we have to make sure to ensure the photo was clear so we could see what was in the photo and um, so it wasn't blurry, so um, something was high quality? Have a think. Let's look at some of those things together. So we ensure the subject, the thing that we're filming or taking a picture of is in the middle, usually in the middle, um, so that we can see it clearly. We reduce the shakiness of the camera, so we've got to try and hold it very still. It can be very useful if you have um, something to rest it on. If you are filming um, a TV show for Sky Sports or for BBC, they would usually have a tripod, which is a stand that they rest the camera on to make sure it's nice and steady. Now, we probably won't have that. You just have to do your best to reduce the shakiness of that camera. Keep the camera level. We don't want it twisted to one side. We want it nice and level so we can really clearly see what's happening. We're not having to twist our heads while we're watching it. Ensure there is good lighting, preferably with the light behind you or the light shining on the person who you are filming. Um, so when we were taking pictures, we did it on a nice sunny day and we tried to do it with the sun behind us so the light was shining on the people within that picture. So that's something to bear in mind today. And don't zoom in or out too much. We want it to be close enough that we can see what's happening, but we don't want it to be so close that that's the only thing we can see and we can't see anything else around. So you're gonna to have to have a play at finding a happy medium today that allows us to see everything that we need to see. Now I'm gonna move you straight onto your challenge today. I want you um, on some sort of device that hopefully you'll have access to is to record um, someone else completing some form of physical activity. So that could be running, kicking a football, throwing a ball or anything else that you can think of. <clears throat> and as you're filming it, can you keep the person in the middle of the shot? Can you keep the camera steady and level? And can you zoom in slowly as they move away? So if they're running, for example, and they're running away from the camera, can you slowly zoom in so you can see them um, roughly the same size throughout? If you have um, access to a digital device, that would be brilliant and you can use that. Um, please make sure though you ask permission of whoever you're filming before you do it. So it might be your parents or carer or brother or sister or cousin or whoever it might be. Please ask their permission before you take that video of them. Um, if you don't have a digital device, um, you might just be able to um, use something similar just to practice that same skill. So you could still get someone to um, pretend that they are doing a um, physical activity or sports. And if you hold something up, you can pretend this is your camera and I want you to imagine you're panning around to capture that footage and you're trying to keep it steady. You're trying to do all of those same things that you would do. Um, obviously it's not quite the same as using a digital device, but it still gets you to practice some of those skills uh, if you don't have access. As always, please send some of your learning in if you would like to share your footage with us. We would love to be able to see some to check that you are doing all of those things to make that footage clear and great for the viewers. Um, thank you for joining today, year three, and hopefully uh, you will join next time where we'll continue building our TV show. See you next time.